Mint, what do you have for us? I use antlers in all of my decorating. <laughs> oh, she got us a fairy flower bulb, two mandrake roots, two copper pheromones, which on their own can just straight up make minor magic potions, which is pretty cool, and oak wood. That's super efficient. Jeez. Mint, you did fantastic. Oh, you really chopped down that forest. She did. The enchanted forest was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it, and I'm excited to use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies, too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. They're purely cosmetic, so don't expect any tangible benefits. Still, they're pretty cool, right? Yay! We can make our shop look not crappy. Hooray! Hey, thanks! I can see how it'd be nice to switch things up every now and then, especially because I live in a hole. Oh my gosh, the dog's freaking no out. No problem. I'll keep an eye out for more. Apparently some critters got into a shipment, and now they're spread all over the island. Which reminds me, I can return to the forest anytime, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The mushroom mire and the bone waves are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that needs better rewards. Here's one tip. You should introduce yourself to our guildmaster, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions, and if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. I'll be sure to introduce myself, and I'll keep you in mind for further adventures, too. Sounds good, Sylvia. I'm ready when you are. I, I kind of want to send her off, like, right away. Oh, I can only get... You can only gift ingredients. Okay. Oh. I don't know what to gift her, so I'm not going to gift her anything yet. But I am going to send her out on an adventure. No, you're, you're going back. I Once you're a higher level. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to need more fire resist. You know oh, what, that's so she still gets four of them. I think it's okay to, yeah, I think it's okay to send her. Cause she's halfway to a level, so she should hopefully level up and be better next time anyways, so. I suppose that's true. Yeah. Off you go. Good choice, I'm on it. Okay, so she's, oh, we can go talk to Baptiste. He's the new person. Ooh, I like Sarah. All right, Baptiste. Oh, be sure to brew your potions before competition. Day. Look at We're him, working like, oh. on it. Ah, oh, this place is bigger than I realized. I hate him. Greetings, <laughs> fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. I am Baptiste, esteemed guildmaster and fledgling barkeep. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm new in town and I make potions. Then you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any heroes you've acquainted with or come to me. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one and in return you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow, it sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please, so if there's anything else I can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I don't know that I'm a merchant per se. I'm more of a facilitator, a master administrator, if you will. I keep everything running smoothly around here while our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. It almost sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. Don't you know? Bureaucrats are the very linchpin that holds society together. Mm. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order out of a chaotic world isn't heroic, I don't know what it is. He's so full of himself. <laughs> That's an interesting point of view. Isn't it? And in striking up a conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. If you got something to sell, the best to captivate your fought with. 
Oh. All right. That's actually super useful. I suppose that's true, yes. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've recently taken to heart. I arrived here only a few months ago, intent on guiding this guild to greatness, and the heroes have greeted me with open arms. Although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say, you look like a commoner. Maybe you could share some insights. You must be a noble, then? Shh! <laughs> I'm trying to downplay all that, you know, to help me fit in. It's not working, dude. But that brings me to a question. Tell me, this time the tradition of leaving gifts in a friend's... new friend's shoes. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream and rotten fruit, and that one time it was a scorpion. Is that <laughs> really supposed to go on for months? I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. They must really like you. So what's wrong with it? They can't keep it up forever, right? I should hope not. Honestly, how much rotten fruit could there be in this place? But I shouldn't complain. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in the new land and in a new role, it can be challenging, can't it? <laughs> we'll get the hang of it. Yeah, let's not... I don't want to flirt with this guy. <laughs> no, not I this mean, guy. Almost everyone in this town is a transplant. Indeed, in that sense, you and I fit in quite well. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you decide to avail yourself of our services. And I trust we'll find the opportunity to chat again soon. Oh, we can hang out with him. Oh, no, we are not hanging out with him. We will invest. Mushroom Meyer Swamp Octopus? Oh, these are so nice. Fish. I think... Heroes live for such a journey. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, um, yeah, I think I'll just do two of each. Okay. Fish. 18, 24... Hold on. So... I'm doing math. Hang on. Oh, God. <laughs> Stay just to go alone. Here, take this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm, it, I'm trying to, it's determined. It's like, okay, at what point do we, whatever. I, I, I don't want to overspend. There, we'll just do two of each and then figure it out from there. He's just, he posing all the time. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Quinn. We're gonna t go talk to our them friend. Hey, Sylvia, I hear you've been busy. Uh-oh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing especially interesting. Mint just mentioned you've been working with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients, so I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never seen before. He Give did. It here. <laughs> yeah, what no? Why would I do that? Suit yourself. I'm just trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient, and you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in your cauldron, and poof, it's gone forever. But if you don't, but it doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance allows me to home in on specific ingredients, meaning if you give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it, and then I can start offering that for sale. Much. That's cool mechanic. I like that. Ah, that is interesting. We have to use the Heroes Guild to find ingredients, and then we give them to Quinn, and then Quinn can just have them on the regular. All right, works for me. Makes sense. Yeah, you miss out on the instant gratification, but you guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah. Okay, I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see, you give me free stuff and we all benefit. Mostly me, but still. I wouldn't expect you to operate any other way. But hey, 
Hey, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah, despite the invaluable service I provide the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a real liability. You set two fires and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? I'll keep that in mind. Also, you feel like a bunch of heroes would be able to handle that pretty easily. Okay, so let's start by... I think Quinn would would like some Kappa pheromones, right? Sure, why not? Yes, it worked. Sure, thanks. And then... Uh, we should give Quinn both of these, shouldn't we? Um, I guess, yeah, that way they'll come back with more. All feed, right. though. I like that word, feed. I like the look of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like Quinn's look here. It's like, yeah. Gimme. Cool. And, oh, it is literally feeding them to Quinn. All right, so... Give me a day and I'll come back with some stock. All right, Quinn, what do you got? Best ingredients in town. Oh, stuff's on sale today. Yay. Cool. All right. Uh, we should just buy more of each, right? Just kind of max it out. Well, we're going to need to make potions, theoretically. In theory, yeah. Let's just run our shop into the ground. I, I wonder if this is what Oswald did. Oswald's like, I'm going to need this stuff, so... Well, yeah, but then where did it all go? I don't know. It's Oswald. Uh, let's go talk to Muck Tuck. How about that? I did a thing. Ah, oh, mood. <laughs> Quinn is all of us. I lose my head in the starry skies.